to optimize your website for the SEO, you need to have proper meta tags, title, description in the head section of your page. Next.js 13 provides built-in support for the SEO. For example, in this page, you can see that I have added this meta tags, carousel UTF-8, then meta viewport, and we have got this content. And down here, we have got various meta tags. You can see there is title, then there is meta name description, meta name category, and then open graph tags. So title, description, image, then if you want to share this particular page on the Twitter, then Twitter needs different types of meta tags. So this have also been added. So let us see how you can uh, do this in Next.js 13. If you want to add these tags in Next.js 13, it's very simple. All you have to do is you have to export this function, generate metadata from your page.tsx file. So basically this function should return an object with all these uh, meta tags or the information for required for the meta tags. So we can see that uh, I'm returning this title, description, category, open graph and Twitter information. So basically all this information I have created and then return that information from this function. And how you can create this is like, depends like what kind of uh, page it is. If it is a static page, then you can directly create the objects like title, whatever you want to give the title, description, category, you can just fill in that information. But if it is a dynamic page or dynamic route, then you might want to use these parameters. So basically this particular function gets this props called as parameters. And from that parameters, we can extract the URL parts, okay, URL segments. For example, in this particular page, I've got this slug parameter. So I'm extracting this slug zero, slug one. And based upon that, I am generating those, I'm generating that information that is required for the title, for the description, for images, then to generate that Twitter object. So all this information is being created. And at the end, I'm just returning the object with these properties. That's it, it's very simple out of the supports once you export this particular object next year's is going to use this object and then add those tags automatically for you okay you don't have to manually create these tags next is going to create it for you that's it thanks for watching